Okay, today we're going to look at the addition of a hydrogen halide, such as uh, hydrogen bromide or hydrogen chloride, to uh, an alkene, and in particular, an unsymmetrical alkene. So look at this alkene here, we've got propene, we've got two hydrogens on this side of the double bond, and we've got a methyl group and a hydrogen on this side of the double bond, which makes it unsymmetrical. And this will be important uh, later. So, what we have is hydrogen bromide, and I'm going to draw the hydrogen from the hydrogen bromide in a different colour to clearly show what happens to it during this reaction, because it's quite important. Unlike the electrophilic addition of a halogen, where the electron-rich double bond polarises this, hydrogen bromide is already polarised. The hydrogen already has a slightly positive charge, and the bromine already has a slightly negative charge. And this means it works in exactly the same way. We have the electrons from here attack and grab the hydrogen. And the bond between the hydrogen and the bromine breaks heterolytically onto the bromine. This means that two electrons are moving from this electron, clearly shown by the double-headed arrow, onto the bromine. Okay. Now the problem is, with an unsymmetrical alkene, we can end up with two different products. And I've drawn them here for you to have a look at. So if... I attack the hydrogen, if I add the hydrogen to this carbon here, I end up with this product here, where I have a carbocation intermediate, I end up with a positive charge on the middle carbon. If I add the hydrogen to the middle carbon up here, I end up with this carbocation intermediate, with a positive charge on the right hand side. And we're going to look at both of these reactions uh, as part of this mechanism. We're going to start over here. Now, because the carbocation has the positive charge in the, media, in, in the middle, the bromine is going to attack the middle carbon. It's really important in the exam that when you draw the curly arrows that they come from this lone pair of electrons here and clearly go to the carbon with the positive charge. So here we've had an uh, attack of this bromine anion onto this carbocation intermediate. It's called an intermediate because it's not the final product. If we have a look at this one here, the hydrogen has added to the middle carbon in this stage of the reaction, and as a result, the positive charge on the carbocation is on the right-hand carbon. Again, the arrow needs to start from the uh, lone pair of electrons, so when we add this bromine anion, it adds on to the end of the carbon chain. If we follow through and have a look at the products of this reaction, we end up with two completely different products. We end up with two bromopropane over here and one bromopropane over here. So here we've got two bromopropane because the bromine has added to the second carbon uh, and the hydrogen to the first carbon. And here we've got one bromopropane because the bromine has added to the first carbon. Now a Russian scientist by the name of Markovnikov came up with a rule for deciding which one of these two would be the major products. And it all stems around the number of hydrogens already bonded to the carbon when the hydrogen from the hydrogen bromide is added. So Markovnikov stated that this would be the major product of the reaction and that you wouldn't see much of this product here. Okay, and it all stems from the beginning of this reaction. So if we have a look back in the first stage, he's, his rule stated that the hydrogen, this green hydrogen, would add to the carbon with the most hydrogens attached already, which would be this carbon here, with two hydrogens already attached, rather than this carbon here, which has only got one hydrogen attached. This means if you follow it through, you end up with this carbocation intermediate with the positive charge in the middle, and you'll end up with the product circled in red, the two bromopropane as your final product.